Hey guys, it's Cam Cam. Welcome back to the next episode of the Creative Club Career Mode with Wakefield FC. And we are into the month of March and the second to last episode of this first season. As you can see right there, we're currently sitting on 61 points out of 34 games. One point out of first place, uh, Port Vale. And we have another five games this month. Like I said, well, we'll play the five games this month, play three sim two, like we do in all five gamers. And then we will have one bigger video for April and the last game in May to end the season to see how we finish in the league. So that's how it, this season's going to wrap up. But we're gonna start in March right here, away from home against Crawley Town who currently sit in 19th place. So we'll probably give that one a sim because we have Colchester who are in third and then Barrow who are in seventh, Southford in 16th and Harrogate in 18th. So we'll probably sim the first one and the last one and then play the middle three games. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. We did agree on a pre-negotiation with Stevenage for Edward Arnold, kind of our third string left back and right back kind of just was in no man's land so we went ahead and sold him on um so hopefully he heads to stevenage next season and we get a little bit of cash in next season on top of what we start with so so we're away from home against 19th place crawley town and we're gonna start Quran up top broderick is back and ready after that bruised shoulder he uh got in the very last game of last month but we're going to go ahead and give Karan the start. Uh, let Broderick get back to completely 100% and then have him ready for uh, third place Colchester next game. And then we're going to bring in Marshall, that center mid spot, and Vaughn in that defensive mid spot that we always liked. But we are going to give this game a sim. And it's going to be a 1 1 draw. Karan misses a penalty in the 40 minute, 40th minute that could have decided it, but we take one point away from a bottom side team next up is third place colchester uh lee broderick back into the side that's the only change we're making but hopefully we can get three points out of three points this game after dropping a couple points the last game against crawley town but uh yeah here we go but here we go desperately in need of three points to keep up with port vale just get to the top of the box and it the attack goes stale. Can't find anything. As Kai Chuen intercepts that. And we go quick the other way once again. Over top to Williamson. Williamson's in behind. I think he is on sides. No, he is not. He is off. Thought we timed that perfectly. And... Whoa! Wow. I think by the skin of his knee, he was off sides. Ball in behind, but that's intercepted by Hayward, and that probably should do it, and yes, it will do it. Snooze Fest, nil-nil, first half. Vaughn intercepts, finds Valakari. Valakari up and over the top to Hogg. Hogg is in behind. Hogg gets to it. Hogg, yes! We get a little luck, and it pays off, and Noah Hogg scores once again as he equals Lee Broderick's league total and we have the top two goal scorers in the league, both at 17, Noah Hogg and Lee Broderick. As he hits it off the keeper, gets a little lucky, bounces back up off of him, and he continues to fight through and finishes it in the back of the net. As that ball is in behind, Colchester in behind, off the post and in. Oh, it's just poor defending at the back. Both center backs step up, leaving a gap in behind. And the fullback can't get there to help out. And it's 1-1. We got a late 83rd minute corner here. As Hayward heads it on goal. And it's off the crossbar. And it's punched in the air again. Kiran can't get ahead to it. As it's hit out to Williamson. Williamson is going to win this to Chamberlain. Chamberlain's going to switch fields to Rue. Rue to Kiran. Kiran to Vaughn. Vaughn out wide to Williamson. Williamson's in behind. Williamson's going to have a go, and he scores! That's the near post! 
He beats the keeper at the near post. I think the keeper was reading cross across the face, but Williamson just has a go and surprises him. And it's 2-1 Wakefield FC at the dead of the match. We're into the two minutes, and that's going to do it. 2-1 victory over Colchester United. Another home game against Barrow FC, who currently sit in ninth place. Another team with five at the back. So we're going to have our work cut out for us, but we go for another three points. Port Vale did drop points. They drew, so we're now one point behind Port Vale once again. So we need three points here. So here we go. Get it to Valakari. Valakari. Great run through the midfield. Finds Noah Hogg. Noah Hogg is in behind. Noah Hogg. Cut back. Lee Broderick. And the league's leading goal scorer does it once again. Lee Broderick. As he puts Wakefield FC up 1-0. Let's go, boys. Finally got that defense to push out and put some pressure on. And our passing gets us in behind. And Lee Broderick slots it between a defender and the keeper. And makes it 1-0. Heavy touch. Noah Hogg wins that as we go the other way. And we have numbers on here. Through Barlow. Barlow to Marshall. Marshall's going to have a go, but it's blocked away. And that's going to do it for the first half. 1-0 going into the locker rooms. As that ball's in behind. Barrow FC in behind. As Parsons intercepts that away. Gets it up to Vaughn. Vaughn to Barlow. Barlow. Through the middle to Curran. Curran's going to win that. And give it to Chamberlain. Chamberlain back to Curran. Curran's going to bring that one down. Curran is in behind. Curran makes it 2-0. Noel Curran, the super sub. Is going to seal it in the 86th minute. 2-0. Wakefield FC. As the security has to hold a fan from getting into our celebration. Two fans right there. Look, they're holding them back. Great ball from Chamberlain to Curran. And it's two subs making an impact on the counter to seal the deal. 2-0. Wakefield FC. Barrow looking for a last attack here to try and pull one back. They're in behind. Have the ball at the top of the box. They finally do find a way through, and it's a miss hit up and over Zion Suzuki. And it's 2-1, but I think it's too little, too late. And that's going to do it. 2-1. Should have been 2-0. Lackadaisical at the back late in the game. But still three points, and if Port Vale drop points, we take the lead at the top, but we'll have to wait and see there. Here we go with the last game we're going to play this month. We still have one more we need to sim. But we are up against Salford City, who currently sit in 12th place. We're away from home. Uh, we did bring Wallace into the side for Peter Williamson. Going to give him a break uh, for this one. But outside of that, it's a unchanged squad as we go away from home against Salford City. And there's a ball in behind. It's off the crossbar, luckily. Zion gets back up and makes another save. Got a little lucky there. Ball in behind, but luckily hit the crossbar. Vaughn over to Parsons. Parsons. Into Marshall. Marshall to Broderick. Broderick to Wallace. Wallace, the cutback to Marshall. Has to go first time, and Marshall... First time hit. Too much for the keeper. And it's off the keeper and in 1-0 Wakefield FC. Finally got Marley Marshall a goal. First time hit. And it's too much for the keeper. The cutback from Wallace. And yep, the keeper just couldn't reach down to it. Probably would have had a better chance hitting it with his foot. But chose to elect to go with the hand. And it's off the hand and in. 1-0 Wakefield FC. Rue to Valakari. Valakari's going to slide it through. Lee Broderick's in. Lee Broderick makes it 2-0. Valakari, what a ball. Great timing into Lee Broderick. Makes it 2-0. And Lee Broderick extends his lead at the top of the goal scorers in League 2. As he tries to solidify his golden boot. 
Kaichu in does well. Meller does get past two defenders, though. Into the top of the box. Vaughn is going to tackle that away. We get up to Broderick. Broderick finds Valakari. Valakari finds Noah Hogg. What a ball in behind. Noah Hogg in behind. Has Wallace on the other wing. Noah Hogg to Wallace. Makes it 3-0. The unselfish play from Noah Hogg. 3-0. Wakefield FC. As we run away with this one in the first half. Up and over the top. To Valakari. Valakari is going to bring it down well. He's going to find Lee Broderick. And Lee Broderick makes it 4-0. What skill from Valakari to keep it in between two defenders and fi find Lee Broderick at that near post run. And Lee Broderick off the post and in. Just as we're about to take him out. Look at this. Valakari to keep it within two players. And Lee Broderick one touch has a go. And it's too much for the keeper. Zion up over the top to Hayward. Hayward up to Valakari, who sends it out to Rue. Rue with space down this right side. Rue's going to carry. Rue's going to carry. Has Marshall at the back post. Marshall with the header. Oh, it's a great save. Falls to Noel Curran, and it goes wide, and that's going to do it. Could have been five. Could have been six. Just couldn't find a way through. But it is 4-0 Wakefield FC, a commanding, dominating match there. Here we go with the last game of the month against 22nd place Harrogate Town at home. So hopefully we come away with three points to end the month on a good note. Valakari is on international duty, so Marshall comes into the midfield. Barlow comes back into the starting lineup. And we have a full strength team to end the month, and it's going to be a 2-1 win. Hogg and Broderick, our two leading goal scorers, get on the score sheet. Once again, Broderick could have had a brace, but he missed a pin early in the game. But it's a 2-1 victory over Harrogate Town. So that's going to do it for the month of March. And would you look at that? We take a one-point lead at the top of the table. And it looks like it's going to be a two-horse race going for the title. As uh, we are six points clear of third place Colchester. And it looks like it's going to be us versus Fort Vale going for the league title. So automatic promotion, I wouldn't say is fully secure yet. Anything can happen. But it looks like we are going to be battling it out for that championship trophy of League 2. But that's going to do it for this episode. That battle is going to be saved for the very last episode. Like I said, it's going to be... April and the very first game of May, which is the last game of the season. That's going to do it for this episode. If you guys are enjoying the career mode, the Creative Club career mode with Eggfield FC, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. But until next time, thanks for watching.